Hey guys, Andy here. So, quite exciting actually. I've got today the Mi A2 Lite. Now, I looked at the Mi A1 last year, it was last October 2017, and I really quite liked it. I think the camera was a little bit dodgy, but apart from that, stock Android on a Xiaomi device, under 200 pounds, what's not to like, I suppose. This year, it's the Lite version I've gone for. Um, in some ways because it's available in the UK now so previously you generally have to import the Xiaomi devices last week they did a big launch event a bit cheeky saying they were basically selling phones for a pound they sold like 12 phones for a pound so the whole of the UK trying to get hold of just 12 phones um, but maybe linked in with that is why I've been able to order this from Carphone Warehouse and all credit to Carphone Warehouse I ordered it yesterday Saturday and they delivered it to the midday around Sunday around one o'clock. That was pretty good actually. Um, it's cost me £135. You can get it for the same price on Amazon with Prime Next Day Delivery from what I've seen. Um, I think it's like a dual SIM version that Amazon, Amazon have at that price. You, This is the 32 gig version with 3 gig of RAM. You can get it with 64 gig of storage and 4 gig of RAM. Um, obviously I was just kind of looking at as cheap as possible really. If you can afford the extra £25 or so, you might want to do that. But I figured probably 3 gig. I don't know, I'm not sure. Everyone goes around 4 gig not being enough for the Pixel. I'm not convinced that that's particularly an issue. So let's see how 3 gig does us. And there it is. Some specs on the front of the device there. Look, 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel AI dual cameras on the back. Um, both f2.2. The front facing camera I can tell you is a 5 megapixel f2.2 both of them can do 1080p at 30 frames per second it's got a 4000 milliamp hour high capacity battery and the screen is a 19 by 9 5.84 fhd plus display um, let's just pop that aside for a second we'll check what else i think there's a case in there how do we oh, there we go I quite like, a lot of Chinese manufacturers do this sort of thing. They give you a case that's very rubbery. Let's seal that back up. Just open. So it's just a fairly simple, it is very rubbery. That feels very grippy actually. So we'll try that in a second. What else have we got in the box? We've got the charging brick. We've got the cable. Oh dear, micro USB as if it was 2016 or something. The uh, SIM adapter tool, I think that's it. So that is a bit of a shame right off the bat. Micro USB, I'm, I'm disappointed. Disappointed in that. Um, so, other specs of the device. It's got a Snapdragon 625 chipset, which is actually 14 nanometer. Now my Huawei Mate 20 Pro Obviously, different sort of ball game, but that is a seven nanometer. So it's this this processor or chipset, sorry, twice as thick as can be done now. But this is a hundred and thirty-five pound phone. You could buy like I don't know five of these for the price of one of the others. Let's just try it in the case then before we go. Oh wow, that's that's really good fit actually. So I really like that actually. That's a really nice case. I mean, the only, some people won't like it because it doesn't really give much coverage for the screen. It's actually very sort of flattened, but I quite like it because of that. There's no sort of weird, it, it does feel just part of, part of the phone almost. So let's, oh, it is quite rubbery. I can feel the whole thing sort of move, maybe even move around the screen a little bit. So you can see they're bezels actually. <laughs> so it's not particular. I guess, I didn't check, is this an LCD? I guess it must be an LCD screen. Yeah, IPS LCD, which means they can't quite go up to the edges like you can with an AMOLED screen. Um, I think the iPhone XR suffers in a similar way, that you just can't get bezel to bezel really on an LCD. Now, I don't know if I mentioned or not, this is an Android One device though. Uh, what that basically means is it's gonna have stock Android on it. I've reviewed quite a few Xiaomi devices. Usually the big issue is for me, their software, it just doesn't play well with all sorts of things, and it just isn't isn't very good, basically. Um, oh, it's got 5G Wi-Fi, that's a good start. 
So the uh, CPU is an octa-core 2 gigahertz Cortex A53, so there's no sort of four cores of this and four cores of that for the power savings, that could be interesting. Uh, the GPU is an Adreno 506, and as I think I mentioned already, three gig of RAM. Uh, the screen is a 1080p screen, 1080 by 2280, which is about 432 pixels per inch. The screen to body ratio is 79.5, which isn't too bad. I mean, that's quite a big bezel down the bottom there. And we can see the reasonably big bezels around the top. And if you hadn't noticed, it does have a notch. Let's uh, set up as new. It should, well, GSM Marina tells me it's on Android 8.1. I'm a little disappointed that it's not got um, 9.0 on it just yet, but I guess that's, uh, we're, we're a bit, it's a bit early perhaps. So what I'll do, as usual, um, I'll get a, I'll get logged in, I'll get a couple of things installed, I might nip outside, try to take a couple of photos and a little bit of video so we can see that, um, and then I'll come back just to kind of show you a bit more about the device. So I've been using it for sort of five, ten minutes, I've taken a few photos, and in fact we'll start there with the camera. Um, I think it looks all right actually. So I'm taking pictures in good conditions, you know, the sun's out, I've, I've intentionally gone and found the sun, so to speak, in some ways. I, but it looks okay. Um, I took a, a selfie, the quality looks to be all right. Um, done a little bit of video. The odd thing with the video, when you're filming, it looks really wobbly on the screen, in the cam on the phone. It looks really wobbly, like it's wobbling and jerking over the place, but actually, when you watch it back, it's really quite smooth. Um, did a little bit of sort of in the kitchen where it's lower light. The colours, I think they look quite good. So that's really quite interesting. I, was, I wasn't expecting it to be, I mean, as adequate <laughs> as it is. So it's not, I'm not saying it's great, don't get me wrong. And like I say, these are in generally in very good conditions. Obviously, I'm going to do much better testing over the next week or so. Um, subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss out on how that is. I've set up the fingerprint sensor. Not the fastest, but suitable. I've just seen, is it saying, oh, there's a system update. I thought I'd check this, but uh, maybe I'll do this update and then I will come back to you again, just in case. Um, and it says it's just a security update, but that's a quite a big update. So let's do it. Let's let it do that. And then I will come back to you again. Just a couple other things to point out does have a notification LED down in the bottom left corner and you might also notice it says charging rapidly. Obviously I'll have to do some testing to see what rapidly means but uh, it sounds promising. So I've updated the device, um, it was just the latest security patch so we're now on November which is, you know, I mean it's 18th of November. To be fair that's better than a lot of the devices that it's, you know, it's two weeks ago but many devices are still on October or even September or, you know, summer on last year, you know, it's, it's not bad. Oh. Um, I've also just run Geekbench. These are the results. So not actually as high a score as the Mi A1, but then this is a light version, even if it is a sort of a, a second edition, second version, newer version. And the chipset is actually like I think a couple of years old. There's some information if you wanted to see any more. So the other thing I want to do, let's get a bit of. YouTube. Now I have to be careful, I might even have to blur bits of this. It's the visual content that YouTube don't like, so I don't think they mind as much when they can hear this, the music that, it, that I'll play to demo the device, but it, it recognises the image on the screen on the phone and gets blocked for that. Um, mind you, somebody suggested, well, I just use my own video, so let's, let's see. I'll tell you what, let's use Tectonic, let's use good old, old Raju's video. As far as smart doorbells go, there aren't many brands to choose from. I initially had the Ring Doorbell Pro. I even did an unboxing for it and wired it up. Unfortunately, because it was designed to only scan channels 1 to 11 and UK routers under 2.4 gigahertz frequency can automatically switch between channels 1 to 11. So the speaker, I think it's just a solitary speaker, sounds pretty good. And since I've already got lots of Google products, I decided to buy the Nest Hello. Well, when I say pretty good, it seems quite loud. I can hear a little distortion on the higher volumes. Uh, the image, so I've done the pinch to zoom. You can see it's not going around the notch there. It's not using all of the screen, but you could argue that actually it leaves a better kind of balance. If it did use the notch, then you've got almost no 
well, I say almost no bezel. You've got the very small bezel there and a regular size bezel there, so it's kind of balanced it out. Um, but I mean, that that generally does look a good image. Go subscribe to Roger on Tectonic if you haven't already. Does some great videos. Uh, should we see if there's anything? That's just randomly. I don't know what video this is. Should actually check if we're on no, so we're only on 480p. Come on, own up. Who could tell that was only 480p? Um, so we now we're up to 1080p. I think the screen looks good though. I think the colours look good. It's very rich, deep, dark, popping colours. The detail looks very good. I think that's uh. For a hundred and thirty-five pound device, that's not a bad screen. I will obviously do uh, more more scientific testing. I'll be measuring the screen brightness using my light meter. I'll be measuring the speaker volume using my sound meter. Um, so make sure, as I said earlier, subscribe if you haven't, because that will be in the final final review. Um, just in case you wanted to see. So it does, you know, it is very, well, it is stock. It's totally stock Android, apart from like me services, which you can opt out of, fine. I can't guarantee you they're not sending information back to China. If you are a English spy, you might not want to use this. But if you're just some geezer who knocks about his flat, goes to work, goes down the pub like me, maybe, now and then, uh, then you're probably fine. Be interested to see how long the battery lasts, being 4,000 milliamp hours, <laughs> about two hours left I don't think that's right so uh, I will obviously again I'll, I'll be testing the battery properly as well so but yeah it, it is it is nice to have stock I don't know why Xiaomi don't do this more on their devices just put stock Android on it please it's it's generally I don't I don't feel like I'm seeing much lag I mean I'll be a little bit there but then that's possibly just Google now updating in the background rather than anything else Come on, Redskins, tonight the Texans, we can do it, maybe. Um, yeah, so there's a tiny little bit of lag in there, but I can't really do much scrolling because it's. Anyway, so there we go. Let's just take the. <laughs> I've had this case on because I quite like it. It doesn't add much to it. It's quite a, it is quite a thin fitting case. It's quite a nice design, I think, as well. Just a reminder there that it is Android 1. The dual camera modules, the fingerprint is a very low profile look. I mean, enough that you can feel it. The buttons are quite low profile as well, I would say. But again, not that they feel they feel quite good. They don't really feel loose or wobbly. I think they're metal. There we go. Micro USB is 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 disappointing. Oh, a headphone jack. Who knew? And it looks like an IR blaster up there as well. Is the camera focused? Not that I ever use IR blasters. So yeah, I think it looks quite a nice device. It's Xiaomi quite often, you pay £135 for a device that most people would guess that it was kind of three or 400 or if you told people it was three or 400, they wouldn't, I mean, even with that screen, that speaker, the build quality, the camera, it is looking a very good buy at the moment. So um, we'll see, in the final review, I'll be able to give, you know, when I've used this for a few days, that's my main device, um, I'll be able to give a better, better point of view on if it's uh, if it's a good buy or not really um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but for now my name's Andy I'll catch you all again soon well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there um, also, come and have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.